Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing Scorpio, probably my favorite sign, hands down, <laughs> it is my favorite energy actually, now if you have moon in Scorpio, ascendant in Scorpio, you really feel the energetics of the sign, the sign is pure that really intensifying the emotions, pure intensity, pure transformation, alchemical transformation. This is the sign where a battle happens. We have Aries, a sister sign to Scorpio, where is the battle for um, the personality, the battle for coming in, the battle for the human. And in Scorpio, we have the battle for the soul. By going in, into the unconscious, the subconscious, the dark, the invisible, the unseen, we emerge, transformed, renewed, carrying the light. That is the true sign of a warrior when he emerges, goes into the dark, whether this is the personal darkness, the personal shadow, the personal demons, the personal battle or it is an external thing where we fight for the light but that is the way of um, transforming this world this dimension from the old stage of darkness into the new there's no other way around it and scorpio is a sign that i feel most honest about when i discuss it i can be most honest and most real because our world is all about positivity and fluff and cuteness and those are not my favorite words I may uh, try to participate in some ways in that world but truly my heart and my soul are in the intensity in the truthness of reality where we really have to look at things in order to transform them if we don't look at the dark if we ignore it it only grows so being scared of things doesn't make them disappear ignoring things doesn't make them they grow they grow when they're ignored and scorpio is the sign where death appears when you look around in nature november in a lot of the world in the Western Hemisphere is when things really die, all the leaves fall onto the ground, everything really seems to be dying, right? But that is also the time when the sea is, is transforming, it is going to be reborn, when it drops deep into the ground, when it's in the dark and it sees no way out, no light, that is when the seed is planted and also the soil is renewed so that it will be really, really fruitful for the next harvest. So Scorpio is one of those signs where on the surface it can seem dark because it is the sign of death and sexuality but deep within is the sign that really fights for the human soul and for return to spirit. So we moved from Aries all the way into all the signs through Libra going into Scorpio, the eighth sign ruled on a soul level and on personality level by Mars but also Pluto is a ruler, the Lord of the Unseen, the underworld, the subconscious, really powerful to look at your Pluto alignment position and when we come into Scorpio we really go deep and the rest of the zodiac is really deep signs where we really deep and we go beyond all the lessons that we've learned beyond the personality level and we move deep into the soul level into the spirit lessons so here really it is the time for um, alchemical transformation and transcendence looking on a personal level at our own darkness and shadow because we cannot become light unless we look and I always say sit, not always, but I have said it through the years, sit with your shit. Here, this is the ultimate sign that teaches us that if we want to transform something, if we want to change something, if we want to grow, ascend, become enlightened beings, and by enlightenment I don't mean this is an end, end point, you become enlightened and you're done. That is just a level of awakening, just a word, it's semantics. We have to sit with our darkness, with our pain, with our suffering, with our intensity, with our truth. 
with the things we avoid, with the things we fear. We have to face fear because there's no way to become pure alive if we have not worked and faced our fear and realized the eternal nature of the soul. All right, let's begin and let's go with strength and ease. Libra, <laughs> she harmonies in Libra in her sun, and roll the shoulders back and down, take a nice deep breath, close your eyes and see your alignment, feel your alignment, through your shoulders over the heels, do you feel a little crooked, a little pull to one side, do you feel even, do you feel more flow in one side and less flow in another? We're going to bring the hands, palms facing the heart, over the heart and we'll ask, we'll pray. To always be in the presence of truth in all our doings and dealings. In the world. For truth be our guide, our teacher, our connection, to always reside in truth, wisdom and love, to not shy away from intensity, from the real work, from being a real profound human being, to be awakened, to be brave, to be ready to look at things, to go into a battle, to transform. Because this world is intense. of work, a place within we have come to, to transform, to alchemically transform, to rise from the ashes like the phoenix that is the soul representation of Scorpio, to awaken the Kundalini again that is the symbol of Scorpio. dark we have to be anchored in light the more light we carry within the more of the dark in this world we can transform always always connecting to the light and let's see held the hands over the head exhale life Shift back and forth here. A little rock in a forward bend. Great, let's bring the hands onto the right calf. Forward fold to the right. So from the entire left side of the body. So from the gaze. Soften the face, soften the temples, soften the lips, soften the eyes, opposite side. Go. 
down? Can we rise and sprout up? Can we clean and cleanse the soul? And back to center. Inhale, lengthen, look ahead. Pull the belly in. Bit of a strong vacuum, please. with the part and we're going to take the right arm up and open the chest to the right and now open even further up lifting it up exhale down spread the fingers wide open strong hand alignment opposite side open and open more and exhale down drop the knees down Lock your hands further away from you. Here we're going to shift forward. So it's a little wider stance than all fours on all fours. We are having the hips in front of the knees and bringing the shoulders over the wrist and we're gonna sink the shoulder blades. So we're gonna sink the chest and collapse the shoulder blades. It's a little the opposite of what we're learning most of the time and we're gonna also let the belly go so this is called static back extension in physical therapy and i've been doing it in our physical therapy july program classes so i'm going to give you just a touch of this and that from that program here this is static back extension so that we can rebalance the hips and the shoulders sometimes we have overactive muscles in the shoulders and this allows you to let go of certain habitual patterns in the body don't support your head let it drop so the neck is also having the chance to rebalance static back extension Touch and go and sit back in child's pose. Inhale the hands over the head, coming onto all fours. Let's take the right leg up, left arm up, try to level and square the hips, flex the foot. Drop it down, change side. Again, level, square, lengthen the fingertips, reaching away from the heel so that we can rebalance the shoulders and hips before we begin the serious, intense internal flow. <laughs> Release. Neutral. 
your spine. Step it into plank. Drop the shoulders between the drop the chest between the shoulders. Press the heels away from you. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline. Pull the belly in. This is different from static extension. It's the opposite. Chest open, back wide, shoulder blades dropping into the back. Tucking. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. Breathe. The breath is the most important thing in yoga. I feel it's also the most ignored, the most misunderstood, the most underused tool. So always, always come to your practice for the breath. The breath is what connects the soul to the body. And even though they're one, that's the dichotomy, they're also connected. <laughs> but at the same time, they're not connected because they're the same thing. Through the breath, we experience them as one. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip on top of the left, drop it behind, wildly lift the chest. Exhale, plank. And here we're gonna sweep back with the right hand and touch the right calf. Plank, opposite side. Plank, right, plank, left, plank, right, plank. Let me elaborate with your move. So make each move meaningful. Last one, and down dog, take the left leg up, open the hip, drop the heel behind you, drop it behind, step it behind, well thin, open the chest. that we have with 
the inner world, that tool that we have for transformation, for bringing the light in, for accessing the dark and transforming it. Many people fear the word dark, don't talk about it. Shh. No, the only way to become a light being, to build the light within, is from is through going in. Going to the underworld, that is the battle for the soul. Exhale down. Plank Chaturanga. A dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it up. Warrior one. Lift up. Relax the shoulders. Take the shoulder blades down. Once I worked for a Scorpio woman. And she only owned two colors of clothes in her closet. Black and burgundy. maybe Chaturanga Abdo Chaturanga Dandok Another stomach vacuum Left leg comes up, or it to feel it. So from the shoulders, soften the eyes, lift the corners of the lips, soften the breath, but deepen the breath. Turn it up, hold the right hand down the right leg. Side and go. Bring the right shoulder over the left. Lines in some 
classes, but you look to elongate, to lengthen, to find grace, beauty, and going through a arm balance. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, and here we can do a few circular movements from down dog, rounding forward, bend the knees, push it back, rounding forward, push it back, rounding forward, push it back, down dog, spread the fingers open, Scorpio is a feminine sign, female sign, and it's a, a water sign, the darkness, the depth, the going inward, sign along with Aquarius, Leo and Taurus, so hard to change. Inhale the right leg up, step into a warrior one. Exhale the hands behind, interlace the fingers, open the chest, lift. Humble warrior, lower the forehead down towards the ankle, pressing the hands away from you. Inhale halfway up, just a little to the floor. Spin the right shoulder up, twist. And again, let's face the floor with the chest, shift into warrior three. Release your clasp, touch the floor, straight back. Soft bend in the right knee. Come up, knee tuck. Touch the floor, then lift, knee tuck. Touch the floor, knee tuck. Touch the floor, knee tuck. Touch the floor, knee tuck. Open the arms out, warrior three. Step your foot back in triangle alignment or revolving triangle. Lower the chest parallel to the floor, take the left hand down, right arm up. Work with the hips. You can use a block here. Lengthen to the crown of the head. Great, exhale, chest over the right leg. Breathe. Lengthening the back of the neck. Second chaturanga maybe. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Warrior one. Exhale the hands behind. Reversing the clasp. Open the chest. Glide the hands down the right leg. Open. Up. Look up. Lift up. Humble warrior. Scorpio is one of the most intuitive psychic signs. So if you have strong Scorpio in your chart, trust your intuition, really learn to trust it. I'm halfway up. Open the left shoulder up, lengthen to the crown of the head. so much intensity that this is the fastest evolution here for people incarnating in Scorpio. Release the hands down, softly bend the left knee, tuck the knee, that's again from a program coming up. 
to touch the floor, come up with control. Three, balancing. Four, straight back. Five, open the arms out. Breathe in. Step it back for revolving triangle. Heel to heel alignment. Square the hips, lengthen to the crown. Lower the hand. Right hand down, take the left arm up. both hands down chest over the left thigh let's walk the hands between the legs facing the long side of the mat wide leg forward fold left hand on the floor right arm up Lift like them. Change sides. Lift like them. One more time. Hands reaching away from each other, finding length. Change. Exhale down, grab your calves. Forward fold, shake the head. Smile. Come up, straight back, hands behind, clasping, open the chest, lift up, hands pressing away from you, exhale, lower down, one more time. The hands are pressing away from the back and towards the floor, so in two directions. Release the hands down, look ahead of you, walk your hands to the front. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Chaturanga, Down Dog, take the right leg up, Warrior Two, reverse the Warrior, this time straighten the leading knee and reach as high as you can, coming out, Triangle Pose, This is one pose where I don't like to put my hand on the floor because inevitably for most of us we're going to push the hip back to compensate and look semi like this or we'll ground and drop the head. So I would like to hold back here. I like to hold back here and keep as much as I can some of the line. Great, look down at the floor and shift into half moon. Right hand on the floor, left arm up, flex the left foot, press through the heel, press into the inner edge of the right foot. Down, 
shifting into the half moon, projecting through the right heel here, strong right heel, pull the toes in, feel the inner edge of the left foot, you can wrap the right hand behind, that's very optional.
unwrap the legs. You can keep the arms. Warrior three. three. Release the hands on the inside of the left foot. Low lunge. Lower onto the forearms, keep your knee in and just gently breathe into the areas that are surrendering to the stretch.
changing sides. Back of the head if possible on the ground. Shoulders in the same plane, reach over, elbow straight to the right. Hips not moving. Explore the length of the upper body, torso, elbows, arms. Beautiful. Exhale down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it off. High lunge. Open the arms, twist, drop the arms down onto the legs, work with opening the chest, widening the back, lifting, lengthening, all the delicious work, all the depth, inhale, reach, clasp, hips not moving, reach over, Aligning the shoulders in the same plane, lengthen, straighten the elbows. Coming out of this, here we're going to step at the front. Reach in front of us, palms of the hands down, and we're going to bring one knee to one elbow, the other knee to the other elbow. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands onto the thighs, time for stomach vacuum. Squat. The elbows are opening the knees so that the hips can open. Breathe. Pay attention to the body. Chin parallel to the floor, look over the right, over to the left. Release, feet facing. Pointing forward, drop onto your body and go down into plow. We'll roll back into plow. Lengthening here. 
Growing up, I realized very quickly that we're in a society where Scorpio rules the taboo area of life and Scorpio itself is the opposite the, the what's not celebrated in the world. Intensity, true, going deep, connecting with people on a very deep personal level, those are not things that are readily celebrated. Intensity and um, profound meaning are the things we avoid. We always go on the surface, on the more um, connect about more positive things, lighter things. And I think, first of all, those are just words. Light doesn't necessarily mean that the energetics of it are light, but that is um, the framing of it is light. So we avoid Scorpio energy in society. But it is where we have to go in in order to transform. And of course don't be confused or <laughs> don't be fooled that Scorpio has its own traps as well. Uh, the Scorpio representative, or moon in Scorpio, someone who is a native Scorpio. There is many things they have to be careful and vigilant about because Scorpio in itself can be a very, it can it can divert people from the work they need to do through the intensity of emotions and uh, lack of capacity of forgiveness and forgetting things and letting go. Scorpio is a very obsessive sign. It can hold on. So there is this element of the phoenix burning everything off for complete transformation. Finding the truly profound spiritual in the sign that works with the sexual energy, the energy of creation and the, the community. One leg it down, dog, a few circles. Changing sides, flex the foot, lift, square, and level the hips. Hold.
And with speaking about Scorpio, it's such an overwhelming energy. We don't always have to be in the energy of Scorpio. Things are cyclical in life. We have to experience all the aspects of life, the joy, the intensity, the transformation, the alchemy, the lightness, the light connection, conversation, all of them have their place and time. We just happen to be in Scorpio times right now. Come up and open. So true joy, Although it is the fabric of our universe and our true nature, I believe. I think now the time is called for that going in, that, that level of deepening. Oh, these are special times in human history. from the husk and the stones and the pebbles and the sand and one leg down dog great here you can take a wide legged forward fold Slide it in, 
in the game. This is to rebalancing the hips, the pelvis. I have a few classes specifically, 40-50 minutes of physical therapy specifically for specifically for rebalancing the hips. Pelvis. Alright. Time for plow. right foot on the floor, we're going to extend the left leg and bring it in, extend, bring it in, extend, keep the lower back on the floor the entire time, control, control. Opposite side. Floor back on the floor, full control, pull the belly in. The TVA is working here. And release. Press your hands over your chest, clasp. Shoulders press down. This is again more of a physical therapy for a pose than um, it is not for the core, unlike a similar pose we do for the core. And that one requires the lower back to be on the floor. This one doesn't. So here we're gonna keep the elbow straight, reach over the head, and back up towards the ceiling, keeping the elbow straight and keeping the shoulders down in contact with the floor the entire time balance the shoulders. We started with the shoulder balancing pose of static back. We're gonna seal it in <laughs> with this one. Great, right knee in. And open the right hand out, right shoulder down, right knee across. Keep the shoulder down. You can bring your foot or your, sorry, your knee, your leg down with the left hand. You can glide the flesh in a circular motion from the hip out and down so that you can deepen it. It's like a self-adjustment. Touching, healing touch. And then come up. 
Opposite side, keep the shoulder down, look away from the knee. Lower down, you can bring that circular movement. So the hip works here in a circular fashion and you will grab just the top of the thigh and gently, firm but gentle pressure, bring it in. So that deepens the whole the internal workout, the pose. right heel up and bring it down and across towards the left side so here this is unlike the dynamic pose we often do in classes moving here we're just gonna hold it Take the left leg up and back and across. Great. Now we'll prepare for Shavasana. You can just lay onto your back. You can sit legs up a wall or you can put your chest on a block or a um, rolled up blanket, a foam roller. So in my case I'll just use the foam roller but as I said you can bring the block between the shoulder blades under the sternum. Up the wall as we've done in many of the previous classes. Here we're just doing a static chest opening. And we're gonna close the eyes and imagine an intense, beautiful golden light. Showering. Showering us, showering the soul, showering the body. And we'll breathe. And we'll breathe the light in until the light becomes a part of us. Until we become the light.
light. We are connected, we are one with the light and always cradling, holding that light within. Stay here in this space of being and feeling the light. Holding the light of a meeting light, whatever and however that imagery speaks to you, and there is no right and wrong way of how we are the light, of how we cultivate it, how we grow it. is light. We are built out of light. We are light. And along the way we may forget it, but we can always come back to it. It is always there. It is always accessible. We always have access to our true nature, to what we are. And here in Scorpio with the transformation that we undergo, we return to spirit through the intensity of Scorpio. We remember our nature and we allow it to expand, to transform, to ascend. yourself as the light and I'll see you soon with my next class Namaste Thank you.